الحمد للہ وقفا وصلاۃ وسلام علیٰ سید المرسلین محمد المصطفیٰ ڈیرس فرینڈس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا کانسیپٹ آف کنوکشن ود یو ٹوڈے یو نو دیٹ آئی ایم آف دا بلیف دیٹ ان آڈر ٹو مینٹین کلیرٹی ان آر کمیونیکیشن دا کلیرٹی آف میننگز is very important or in other words you can say if there is no clarity as far as meanings are concerned so we cannot ensure clarity in our communication and if there is no clarity in communication so it becomes useless it's the wastage of time so this is the intention behind the talk which i'm going to give During last two videos I try to explain the meanings of few words the words which shall be used during my communication with you in the videos to come because I'm going to discuss some very important topics now with you and same is the case with today's session I'm going to discuss the concept of conviction with you and in order to ensure the clarity as far as this concept of conviction is concerned i'm going to explain the meanings of four words and if the meanings of these four words are clear i'm sure i shall be able to communicate to you the real meaning or the true concept of conviction so let's begin with that the first word is feeling what is feeling very simple you know that we have five senses so whenever we use these five senses in other words whenever we see something we hear something we taste something we touch something we smell something these five senses provide our mind with some data and as a result of that data an image gets form in our mind this image this mental image is called feeling and the second word which shall help us in understanding the true concept of conviction is certain what is meant by certain certain is the name of knowing that something is true that something is correct that something is exact or that something is effective means when i say i am certain so actually i am saying that i know that this thing is true this is correct this is exact or this is effective and the third word which shall help us understand the concept of conviction is doubt what is doubt doubt is the name of not being certain about something especially when we can't say that how good something is how good someone is how true something is how correct something is how exact something is how effective something is this is called doubt when i say i doubt what does it mean it means that i'm not certain means i can't say that this is true correct exact or effective and the fourth point or the fourth word is belief what's that 
belief is the name of feeling feeling of being certain something that something exists or something is true when we have this feeling this feeling about something that it exists or it is true this feeling is called belief this shall be our topic of discussion in the days to come inshallah so very very important is it logical to have some belief or is there someone in the world who is beliefless very very important so let's try to understand our two days concept the concept of conviction before i move forward i request you the people to make sure that you have understood the meanings of all four words which i just explained if you have understood the meanings of feeling certain doubt and belief you shall be able to understand the real concept of conviction very simple when we say conviction so conviction is the name of feeling feeling of being certain about something the second is a state of mind a state of mind of being free from doubt so this state of mind is also known conviction the third one a strong feeling that your beliefs are right whatever you believe it's right so this strong feeling of this belief is called conviction very very important and you know that belief shall be discussed in the days to come inshallah and we shall discuss it in detail conviction is strong belief strong belief that is not likely to change i'm sure you picked the point conviction number 1 is feeling of being certain about something number 2 state of mind state of being free from doubt number 3 strong feelings that your beliefs are right number 4 strong belief that is not likely to change this is called conviction so there are four aspects or four features or uh, there are different four meanings let's have some examples mr a whose concepts are not clear whenever this mr a speaks his voice lacks conviction let's talk about some other person mr b mr b whose leader has been declared corrupt by the supreme court of the country by the apex court of the country no mr b who is the follower of that corrupt leader whenever he speaks about that leader no his voice lacks conviction third example this mr c mr c is not in the habit of thinking logically whenever this person has a talk has a conversation with someone his voice also lacks conviction i think you got the point so many characters are there in the society i'm sure you know them who else is there whenever that person speaks 
talks, converses, his voice lacks conviction. Think. Please think. I'm sure if you think, you will find a very positive change. You will feel a very positive change in your personality. I'm sure. Please keep thinking. Thank you very much. Thank you.